Are you ready, gang? Yeah! Hey, everybody. How's it going? It's Monday, December 5th. And uh, today is kind of a half day because earlier I had to take my sister somewhere. But anyway, it's about, uh, it's about noon now and I'm headed to a subway. And I'm almost there, actually. And it's in uh, Hillsboro, Oregon. And uh, there's a little bit of snow on the ground. But uh, on the street, pretty much it's melting. It's not sticking. So it's not too cold. It's about maybe 38 degrees. But uh, I'm all ready for the weather. And 38 degrees isn't too bad. In about a month, a month and a half, it'll get down to, you know, more like in the 20s. So, but I brought my propane tank anyway with me, my heater, just in case, keep my hands warm. Anyway, I'll see you in a minute. Well, this subway is uh, located in a pretty big shopping center. There's a uh, and w root beer right here that I work for, and they probably have some of my stuff up still. Let's go around the corner and take a peek. They use, uh, they use vinyl stuff too, in addition to my window painting. But yeah, you can see over here, got large floats, $2. They did really good with that. That's been up there for a couple years. And then the premium strawberry lemonade, that's been up there for, I think, about a year. And then also, I did a bunch of work for Dick's Sporting Goods over here. That was a really fun account. There's a, I have a video about it, but it's a, it's a bunch of the Oregon Ducks promotion, and it's pretty cool. So heading up this way is the subway. We'll be there in a minute. Man, they're everywhere. There's a Sherwin-Williams too. <laughs> That's so convenient. And you know what? I forgot to get my white Metro paint. So I'm going to be going in here and probably maybe just getting a quarter white. Because I like to use the white Metro recycled paint because it's a lot cheaper and it's good paint. Anyway, here's the subway. And I'm going to pull in and you can see the scarecrow I did last time. So he's got to come down. Fall's got to be taken down. Yeah, I forgot to get some uh, mountain snow, and I tried to get some the other day at Miller because mountain snow is the color of the Metro paint, the local recycled paint, and it's about 11 bucks a gallon, and it works good. And it's got kind of an eggshell finish to it, but couldn't find any. So anyway, I'll have to check around later on today or tomorrow to get me a gallon of that. In the meantime, I went over to this Sherwin Williams here, and I just got a color sample of pure white and their color samples are on sale right now for five bucks so this will get me by for sure and then on top of that this window is not a big deal I'm basically just taking off the scarecrow and some leaves and I'm gonna leave up soups on and then I'll leave this up through February and then what I'm gonna do is just put up a snowman real quick so this is gonna be a super easy job all right I talked about this last year when it starts getting cold and you're washing windows. Instead of wearing plastic gloves or anything, I just stick my hands right in the hot water every few minutes to keep them, keep them warm enough. So that's kind of a little cool little trick, or a warm little trick. <laughs> Since this is a really small job, I, uh, I just washed off the snowman. I mean, not the snowman, the scarecrow where I'm gonna put the snowman up. And I wanna get this up as quick as possible, get this white base coat going so it can dry and uh, so I haven't bothered washing off the other leaves and the leaves on the other side yet so while this is drying I could do that so and I got a tarp down so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, lay down some white with the scarecrow I mean the uh, snowman <laughs> Okay, so I got the snowman on there, and so while that's drying, I can uh, work on the other areas and get them scraped off and lay down some more snow along the bottom and some starry magic snow stuff. <laughs> so when you were just doing one character and you want it to dry quick, you want to make sure you get a lot of the paint out. There's some residue from some teal color from when that the job I was doing the other day, but anyway, you want the, you want the roller kind of dry. 
So when you do it, you just keep pushing it and you get a lot of the paint really thin. You don't want big gloppy areas that are gonna take forever to dry and you gotta use the blow dryer. So you just take it and you just keep, you keep pushing the paint and you spread it out. Like that, you want a nice thin coat. Okay, I didn't do a second coat of white on the hat, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put the purple right over it. I did cover the lines with the white though. A little bit of white. So I'm making more of my light teal color for the shadow, for the snow. I think it needs to be a little bit brighter, just a little bit. There we go. That'll do it. So yeah, you want to get these colors in quick so have time to dry. So you don't want to be standing there with the blow dryer, but you can use the leaf blower if you have to. That's what it's for. It's one of my favorite characters I use more than anything else, the snowman. He's fun, easy to do, and he's really appealing. Has a lot of appeal and character to him. People like him. And I laid down this, the splashy color here, and even if it picked up a little bit of the white underneath, that's fine. I just, I lay it down thin and I try to get it on there so it starts drying. And uh, while I do other stuff, many of you have seen these and seen this in other tutorials, but for any of you newcomers to see how I do it in this video. But I recommend you watch my other videos too. From the beginning, if you're really serious about it, I'm gonna paint some brown in there, so. So I'll let that dry for now before I do the highlights and the shadows and I'll, I'll work on the trees and the snow over here. So sometimes what I'll do is, uh, because I want the character to dry, I'll go ahead and do this uh, wet on wet. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not super sopping wet. The wet doesn't mean that. It just means I'm painting wet paint on wet paint. And uh, I just blend it. I do the highlights and the shadows and I blend it together. That way it all dries together. It takes longer to do this than to just swipe a highlight and a shadow color. But at least this will be getting to dry. And then the same thing with the with the hat too. I just laid in a little bit of the, this lighter color for a highlight. And because the purple's so dark, I'm not gonna do a shadow. So all I got left on here is do a quick highlight and shadow of this and paint some brown soup in there. And, uh, and then while that's drying, I'll come back to the trees, do the highlights and trim them out. Okay, we're getting closer and closer. I've got all the colors on the snow guy and the soup. And I'm not even gonna bother putting a highlight and a shadow on the soup, it doesn't really need it. But in the meantime, I've got all these trees down, the highlights, the shadows, and the magic here and here. And then around the corner, the same deal. This side's completely finished now. I've got the leaves off, washed all those off, and replaced it with a winter theme. And I've got all the snow, I've got the shadow, highlights, and shadows on the trees. And I added a little bit blue with the magic this time too. So, so it's, and then the snowman's probably, uh, he's probably dry enough to start outlining at least parts of him, like his eyes and stuff. And, uh, and then I'll be all finished. <laughs> it was a quick one. Okay, all I got left is uh, doing some outlining on the snowman. And that's always fun. <laughs> Okay, I'm all finished up here at Subway in Hillsboro, and uh, it was a quick design, pretty easy. And uh, here's a picture of the snow guy and uh, with the soup, and I'm going to post this on Pinterest. I'm going to start doing that. It's posting the characters that I do on Pinterest. So uh, anyway, I'm all done. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. I know it was a short one, not a lot to it. You've probably seen some of this before, but for all you newcomers, it's kind of cool. And uh, all right, be sure and like the video, share it, and uh, subscribe. That's how you can support this channel, keep me going, keep pumping these videos out for you guys. All right, thanks a lot. I'll see you later, bye.